Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to check out Pepecoin's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Waves, classic technical analysis, and also indicators. Now, as per usual, in every single Pepe video, I need to tell you that the long term scenario in here, in terms of technical analysis, is going to be very, very bullish here. Is why I believe in here we are having our first five wave on the upside into a larger DK wave one, and followed by that, a correction for wave two, probably an abc zigzag and then from this point going up we are having a very strong extension as rush mini this is going to be also another one and a two but this one and a two is going to be on a lower degree relative to this one and a two in here and the idea is that this big move up is going to be into this wave three and followed by that a correction for four and right now we are on our way to have another move on the upside into wave five and at that point after our wave five is over our move on the upside is actually not going to be because like we said earlier this one two three four five up is going to be on a high degree into this larger degree wave three and then we're going to have a correction for four a move down fair enough but after that we can expect even another big move on the upside into wave five in our time to take the height of our wave three at least for the first cycle so in the long term we are very very bullish what about short to meta let's go around here there we go you see if you want to argue that we are going to have, for example, our final bottom somewhere around this region, maybe this is going to be like a very important support area. Okay, fair enough. In terms of Elliott waves, you need to be able to find off of it one, two, three, four, five wave on the upside. We can have many different kinds of five waves, but this single region here, what you see is a normal one. The rules for it are you shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave two and four and in any kind of impulsive structure wave 3 right in here should let's be the smallest wave and for the sub waves we must have five up into wave one three and five let's just draw them there we go and this is going to be our final five wave into five and for corrections for wave two and four different scenarios are possible let's say maybe wxy into wave four and an a b c s structure into wave two and if we can find this is structure in the short term off of the low slowing pepe we can argue that maybe the trend has changed and we are going to get another big move on the upside in attempt to set another all-time high and if you remember the last time that we talked about pepe we were right around these areas and i was saying look so far we are having five wave up a correction down and yet another five wave on the upside and we can argue that this pattern is going to be an a b c in form of a zigzag structure up off of the low slope which means well okay basically we are having a correction up off of this area and not an impulsive movement and our move down it means most likely unfortunately it's not over yet now we also said if we see some consolidations in here and then after that, another move on the upside that's actually going to be a very very bullish sign because at that point we are going to be able to say this is a one two three four five wave impulsive structure on the upside which means there is a decent chance that the bottom at that point is going to be in what is happening right now so far as you can see we are having a move on the downside now is this move going to be a correction or maybe an impulsive structure on the downside and it's going to be for example like the beginning of a new move down in a time to set new lows and take the lowest low in this area but let's zoom in a bit more and see what is going on in this region there we go okay here is unfortunately not a good news i think this might be from this high five wave down into one and then a correction and structure on the upside into wave two to somewhere around here follow by that another move down into wave three correction for four and yet another move on the outside into wave five and in here in this move up we may have either an a b c s structure to about here or maybe a w x y in form of a double zigzag which means well okay we are having basically an impulsive structure down followed by that a correction up and in this case if this is indeed going to be in play the next move is going to be unfortunately another one on the downside in our time to take the lowest low in this area in pepe so this is not going to be in my opinion necessarily a bullish sign in pepe coins first chart at least at the moment sure i can find a correction structure on the downside in here and I guess I can tell you maybe this is going to be from here to here, 5 down into a, a and then correction structure up to about 
this area or maybe this high sure into our b-leg and this is going to be like a one two three four five down into our c-leg but i think chances of having a five down in here is actually a bit more than this a b c structure and right now it's actually not going to be necessarily the best time to be optimistic in pivot now the fact that in here we are having a correction up is not actually confirmed yet we need to get another big move down in our time to take this low right in here if we do something like that well okay at that point we are going to say with a lot more confidence that look most likely our move down in pepe at least at the moment is not going to be up so in terms of elliot waves i think we should wait a bit more and it's just way way too soon to be bullish now what is going on in terms of indicators let's zoom in a bit more in weekly time frame there we go okay as you can see in here we are having a buy signal in mahdi which suggests that the german trend is still going to be bullish however in stock rsi we are having a sell signal and this suggests in the short term maybe in the next week or two we might get another move on the downside and in daily time frame what is going on as you can see unfortunately the news is not good because we are having a sell signal in MACD and stock RSI at the same time, which suggests again, unfortunately, the same deal. In the short term, we might get yet another move on the downside in Pepe in our time to take the lowest low. So let's have our final conclusion and wrap up our video. At the moment, in Pepe, we can consider different possibilities. For example, if you want to be bullish, I guess you can argue that this is going to be, if I just do this, there we go. 5 wave up into a wave 1 and then a correction for wave 2 another big move up into wave 3 and the current move down is going to be just a correction into 4 and after it's over we're going to get another big move on the upside into wave 5 this is a possibility and because in here we are clearly having overlapping of the waves between wave 4 and wave 2 this is going to be an expanding leading diagonal structure fair enough but even in this case i think right now around these areas it's actually not going to be the right time to be bullish on Pepe. On the other hand, if you don't want to be optimistic, you can argue that this is going to be just a very simple A, B, C structure on the upside in Pepe. And right now, we are actually having 5 down into 1 correction for wave 2. And the next move is going to be a big one on the downside into wave 3, 4, 5 in attempt to take the low slow around this area which from the current point that's going to be about i believe a 10 to 15 percent move on the downside so basically the point that i'm trying to make is this even if you want to be bullish in pepe right now at least it's not going to be the time to go long no in my opinion right now it's just going to be a bit of a waiting game and we need to wait a bit more and see what is going to happen are we going to get another move on the upside and follow by that a move down in form of a correction structure and in that case we are going to be very much bullish or maybe are we going to get a move down from the current point in an attempt to take the lowest line here which at that point well okay we may actually continue this move down for quite a bit in public so again right now let's wait a bit more and see what is going to happen and i hope i explain everything well and you understood what is going on in pepe coins price charts anyway if you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn technical analysis in order to be able to make some good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.